Well, hello again and welcome back to the channel. I'm up at Sagan again tonight, and uh, this is the wee river that leads down, one of the wee rivers that leads down into the, the reservoir itself. I haven't been here for a few days, and it's a lovely warm evening, so looking forward to a good night's fishing. Hopefully there'll be plenty of fish raising, and hopefully they'll like what I put on for them. So, let's go around. It'll be around at the quarry point, and we'll take it back up again there. Just making my way down now to the quarry point. These ferns grow up over the year and uh, I would say by the end of August, September time, they'll be easily five to six feet. It's like walking through a tunnel when you get to come down here. Whenever I say the quarry point, <laughs> that's just what it is. This semicircle here was a quarry before the um, the the dam was built back in the late fifties. Just seen a couple of fish moving there, but not much else. You wouldn't want to go another couple of feet that way; it end up with a long drop. Oh, there's a swan. Two swans. Uh, I wonder are there any signets? Give me a queer eye, eh? aren't you? I not do you no harm. Right. More fish raising, let's get down to it. The swans have come up to see me. There's a load of fish raising. I'm um, just retanning my cast here. I think I'll start off with a meaty morsel. I shall put a daddy on the point and a, a buzzer on the dropper just to get the cast to sink a wee bit. There's fish everywhere here. Uh, I am not very good at judging what exactly it is they're feeding on. I hope to goodness it's not canis because the last time I was up here they were feeding on canis and I may as well have had no hooks on because they just ignored everything that I put on the water for them. So I'll get the daddy tied on here now and then we'll make a few speculative casts. First cast time, that's the daddy. And uh, it's just a fairly standard epoxy buzzer on the dropper. Um, let's see if something fancies a look at either fly. There you go. At least I can see the fly. My pulse has quickened somewhat. There's one out there. That's right on his nose. That's right in your nose, son. Oh, he went away the other way. Might have to resort to the uh, the CDCs, the road to madness. This is definitely the warmest evening I have been up here this year. Oh, there's a fish a foot beyond it. Now that's a bit disappointing because he could have seen my fly and decided not to take it. Hmm. We're going to have to go on to something a bit smaller. Right, that's on your nose, son. Yep, there you go. Well, thank goodness for that. Now if I can just get him landed. There you go. Mm, not the biggest fish I've ever caught, but nonetheless, it was the pleasure of catching it. And there, there's the daddy is out. 
He's got a funny tail, that boy. Anyway, let's get him back in again. Away you go. It's very green and slimy here at the moment. I'm not putting that net back near my leg again for a while. Go on. There he's away. Easy peasy, that's how you do it, eh? Such an expert, nut. The unfortunate thing at the minute is this green slime, which is an awful mess. I have got my lane tray here, but even still there's times whenever it comes through the, the lane, comes through the tray and you end up with your fly lane plastered. Ah, right, we're, we've cast back out again. Um, that wee fish Mm, but we inexperienced. I hope the wind doesn't drop away too much because if it goes flat calm I'll just freak out. They're not just raising so much now. I said he is the one raised out there but Oh. oh, he went for it. He went for it and didn't take it. I know what you're thinking. Ah, you missed it. Yeah. Oh, there's a better, better looking fish there. I, I'm going to end up trying something smaller. Because I say they're coming up to the surface, but that, that daddy is a bit big. Give it another couple of casts and then we'll, we'll see. And the wind's dropping away, They're flipping. Not good. I'm surprised I haven't had a wee tug maybe on the, on the buzzer, on the dropper, because they do like a good buzzer. Yeah. Oh! Look, I need to get smaller because they're they're just they're hitting it, but they're not hitting it. They're going. They're looking. I learned to speak English again. They're coming up for a look at it, but they're afraid to take it. It is actually quite a big. <laughs> it's a big daddy. I haven't uh, got a great. That's again. Let me there. Now I'm cutting the bushes. Right, fish. Is your last chance? They do seem to like it, just not enough. Or maybe it's my fault. Who knows? If you were dopping on some of the big Irish lakes and a fish came up and took your fly, you're meant to dip your rod and say, God save the queen, and then strike. Maybe I'm striking too soon, do you think? I reckon we got a chance to find out. There's a fish on out. Come on, fish. Something uh, a bit smaller this time. This is on the dropper. It is a fairly small buzzery thing and on the point a CDC black so I don't know if this is going to float whatever let's go and give it a throw I'll try and do this without getting everything covered in glower I'll make my first cast from up here on back of it to keep the line out ah it looks good if they stay floating we'll be grand As I've probably mentioned before, the problem with these wee things is whenever you get to my time of life you can't see them now. You're, only, you're on a wing and a prayer. Just keep your eye in the general direction. And I must admit there's a lot of there's a lot of wee black flies in the air. Right, come on. 
There's one down there to my left. That's a good distance away. I can see that sitting on top of the water. Fishes to the left of it. Oh, there's a fish heading over in the general direction of my fly now. You're at it. Oh, he's turned. Most frustrating when they're taking flies all over the place, they won't take yours. There's a couple of fish over there. Right, that's a lovely presentation. This one's going to take it next. What do you see? <coughs> At that distance, you see, I can't tell if the fish actually went for the fly or was just close to the fly. And now you see your fly line ends up in the gutters and your cake to the eyeballs in green glare. Lovely, 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 lovely. Where'd that fly end up? In the nettles. Now we're okay. Let's go back down again. There's one there. Yep. Whew. At least I saw that one. He's not way well big now, but it's nice just to just to get him on the dry. Where's that net? He's bigger than the last one. I'd say he's sort of standard issue brownie pound weight or rainbow, sorry. Where's that fly? It's out. <laughs> there you go. The joy of barbless hooks. Let's get you back in the water. I'd love to put in you put you in somewhere clear, but I can't find anywhere. A little bit over. Nah. You may just go in here and swim through the weed, my son. Go for it. Same fly, although it's damp. Uh, I would give it a good swish back and forth, it might dry out. I'm glad to see that wee breeze is still staying with me, because if that goes, I don't think I have any chance. I'll do a few false casts here to get that fly to dry off. They're raising like blazes here, so they are. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's floating or not. Seems to be if you can get it just on their nose, you can kind of trick them into taking it, which is fair enough. That's what you're doing, am I? Well, the fly's floating again, and I can see it, but if you blink, it's gone. <laughs> you not get it back. Oh dear. This is meant to be relaxing. I was in Specsavers the other day and didn't get a new pair of glasses. I shoot at them. That wee fish was just beyond my fly. Oh! <laughs> I was retrieving there and he tugged at me on the way past. A bit closer. Whew. It's exciting stuff. You know the way you always end up with boxes of legs and half of them you never use? Well, I'm going to use the ones that I never use. So there's got a, a yellow shipman's and an orange buzzer. Let's give it a throw.
You never know. Oh, do you believe that? I was just about to take that fly off. I said, I'll give it one cast down here. And this wee boy came up and took it. And he's not a bad fish. Yellow shipman's bottom lip. And the fly's out. <laughs> there you go. What's the moral of the story? Always give your useless flies another throw. Let's get you back in again. Right, now what do I do now? Do I leave that on? Or do I try something completely different? I think I'm going to try something different. So look at the... No. Look at this. It's not there. see us for a laugh. <clears throat> Getting all ahead of myself here now. As far as I'm concerned, if they're going, if they went for that yellow shipman's, they'll go for a green one. So this is on the point and it's ancient, and it's even got rust, it's got rust there and we've got an orange one in the dropper two dry flies, the orange and the green together in the one cast now isn't that lovely? and there's fish dumping all over the place right, let's go and give them a chuck oh there's <laughs> was that at me? no I don't think it was Oh, look at that one down there. Oh, I just love them to float for just a wee second or two. There, there's, I can see one floating now. I don't know if it's the orange or the green. And then you hear big splashes like that and you're tempted to look away. Yeah. Oh, he went for it. I don't know which one it was though. Well, right, let's go again. Let's see if we can get these dried off a bit. What do you reckon? What length should your droppers be? Answers on a postcard. Answers in the comments section, actually. Mine always start off long and they end up about an inch and a half long after I've changed that many flies. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it would seem that the fish in Sagan are not as ecumenically minded as me because they've refused both the orange and the green so we'll have to try it at least no they haven't look at that every time they just do that to spite me you know that's on the green Sorry for rattling that against the camera. Another nice little fish. Where is he hooked? Top of the mouth. My son. There we go. Yet again. What am I going to do? Am I going to change flies again or go back out? And away. Right. I've changed again. Uh, because the, the other flies were wet and messy and whatever and whatever. And I've just seen a fish out, well, two cast lengths out. And it's an absolute brute. Two more 
shipments of varying degrees, a claret on the point and a browny thing with foam on the dropper. So let's give these a throw and see what happens. That one's close now, that one's close. Come on, you can do it. I always prefer the wee ripple. He's got it. Oh, I missed him, I missed him, I missed him. What am I like? Well, that's a good saying. At least they're prepared to take it even in the flat cam. Let's get these cast out again. Flipping heck, they're going nuts here now. Right, one foot, that's it. <laughs> I missed it again. That's the claret one. And he's, yeah. I'd be as well just hiding the lantern at it. I'd jump in it. The swans are eating that green slimy weed. Just not enough of it. Come on lads, get your mates round. we get this place cleaned up a bit. I was just about to put the camera on there and this wee fish has taken my green buzzer on the dropper. It's a lovely wee buzzer I must admit and it just literally pulled the line out of my hand. And <coughs> the, the hook has conveniently come out, so we'll get them back. There you go. Alright, let's have a look at where we are. Still got the, the claret chipman's on, which is <laughs> so well soaked now. <laughs> And that wee buzzer, it's a lovely wee thing, very neat. So let's go for that again, shall we? Come on fish, yeah, that's that wee buzzer again. They're liking the green buzzer. Of course my lamp net's halfway up there. The beach. He's a spirited one. Oh, fella. In the nose. Out. Happy days. And gone. Another look. It's very small. It's probably about a size 16. It's kind of making the. Uh, the <laughs> yeah. What am I going to do with that? For our freak's sake. Right, we're back out again. <clears throat> I think it's going to take a wee while for that uh, shipman's to start floating, but we can fish slowly with the with that green buzzer, which they're seeming to like. I think this one's on the shipman's. Yeah, he took off with some authority. I can tell you. No, it's not. Seems like a bigger fish. That couldn't be a bigger fish. It's just going well. 
That fish took off like a like a ten not ten pounder, a two pounder. Aye, this on the ship man's. Right then fella. He's not a bad fish now. He's over the pound. And there's the, the ship man's out. I'll get you back. Away you go. Oh, oh boy, so that's a lively one. Okay, what we're going to do now, more of the same, says you. I'll hang my net up to dry in that reed. <laughs> what do you think the chances are of that thing ever floating again? <laughs> this one's coming in sideways. Now what happened to that? He went for it, did he? Nah, he just swam in it. Where you go? I think we're gonna have to change it. Oh! I was just about to say, I just turned the camera on there. It's all going very quiet on the surface now. The fish are still raising, but they're not taken. And as I was just about to say that, I got a knock and that was on the buzzer. I think I'm going to uh, dispense with the shipman's and stick another wee buzzer on the point. And yet again, as I always say, heaven forbid, I might stick an indicator on and just sit down for a bit and take it easy. Well, it's quarter past nine and I've just put my, my fleece on, which is amazing to get an evening's fishing with just in your shirt sleeves. Oh, ow, I missed that. Ugh. I have the indicator on there now and a couple of buzzers. I moved the, I moved the indicator and dropped the buzzers down a bit. Uh, a bit deeper, but it, it, I must admit it's been quiet. It has been nothing happening. I'm gonna call it a night. It's uh, it's twenty to ten, and by the time I get gathered up here and get back to the car, it'll be well five past ten or so, and get home it'll be half ten. So I just have enough time to get the gear away. And go and pick up the Tato girls. So, it's been a great night, I must admit, fantastic fun. And uh, caught fish on a variety of flies. And uh, I can't wait to get back again. So, in the meantime, all the best.